Ah, welcome back. Uh, we've got another little project on the go. Conservatory is pretty well finished. Uh, still got a little bit more filling to do there and uh, a layer of paint. Uh, just a little tip of where the wooden floor hits there. Uh, it's always difficult to get something that will fit. This is what plasterers use on corners. You get a massive length for very little money. And uh, in a future hints and tips on DIY, I'll show you where else we've used him. Other than that, I haven't made a, made a bad job of the corners and uh, put in the uh, new sill on. This used to be the dining room and, and also uh, the wife's uh, running machine and it uh, was getting a bit crowded. We revamped the house, moved the uh, dining room to the front room and we tried to minimise by having a cupboard to put the shoes and bits and bobs in. And we hadn't got anything to sit on. Well, we went off to the antique centres, saw this, £39. Did a little bit of bartering and we got it for 30 But it doesn't exactly match uh, the room and as you can maybe see, it's had a few coats of paint and it's going to get another one. It's quite a heavy wicker chair. well sprung we've got to do something to stop uh, the bottom falling out it's got a metal frame around there so it does make it quite heavy uh, and when we actually do uh, the makeover on the cushion we don't really want to uh, spoil it too much but we've got um, some material that the wife um, likes so we'll be covering it with that and it'll just be a simple covering using the staple gun underneath nothing too great and then uh, she'll finish it off uh, with a cushion that uh, she liked. Uh, no good asking me, I'm not much good at uh, mix and matching uh, decor. So I'll let the wife uh, get on with this. It's going to be a, a greyish colour to blend it in with the rest of the conservatory. So when she's halfway through it, I will uh, show you what she's up to. Uh, uh, on the actual uh, painting side. It's very very cold out so we've decided to uh, do it inside and as usual we're re using the uh, Rust-Oleum chalky finish furniture paint um, anthracite I think it's called something like that but it's a, a nice grey that we've used uh, throughout the house just recently so I'll bring you back when uh, Mrs K has maybe done half of it just to see uh, the difference so she's gone halfway round. It's covering pretty well on the first coat, but Mrs. K does like to have it done right. So uh, it looks like uh, the paint's going to cost us uh, seven pound. Uh, the material was ten, but we'll only use half, so that'll be five. So the money we saved by bartering in the first place is uh, paying for some of the makeover. My channel's predominantly garden related, and we. Uh, get some nice little harvests uh, the raspberries have been uh, knocked about by um, uh, the weather we're having and the uh, spring onions even though they didn't look very good at the plot they look quite nice there and I uh, have a greenhouse uh, grow room uh, got some new lights uh, I've been uh, reviewing those but we've got a few things under there and I've got a little grow room there with a, another set of lights which I'll bring uh, some of the seedlings on and uh, there are my uh, Christmas potatoes so if you're interested in gardening or garden makeovers etc then why not consider subscribing hit the like button or dislike and I also have quite a few videos on logging and storage there in my playlist under logging and storage. We do burn a lot of logs, even more logs, even more logs. And that's not counting the ones inside. And I do share uh, our garden and some of the uh, things that we do here to uh, keep it fresh. This is the log store by the uh, conservatory. Pop out and get enough logs. 
to last us a couple of days. It dries them out a little bit more. So we'll leave Mrs K to finish that off and we'll come back show you the results of the painting and then uh, uh, the covering of the seat. So we're getting there, it's looking, looking a little bit more like the room. Uh, we've just sat the seat down, it's the flat edge at the front and uh, Mrs K has uh, chosen a piece of this material. If there's not enough material to do this again then there may be a bit of material to do uh, another project. But we'll get this uh, stapled on. Uh, when that is fully dried, uh, Mrs. K is going to apply by brush the uh, Rust-Oleum Furniture Finishing Wax. That will protect the paint, especially on the arms, and maybe my big backside uh, towards the back. So, <laughs> some cussing and some swearing, but uh, we've got that done. It's quite a, a small staple gun, but uh, uh, it goes that way. So we've uh, managed to uh, cover it okay. We're not too fussed. We're not too fussed what it looks like. And it's gonna be sat inside that chair anyway. Uh, we're gonna give that a little bit more time to dry and then we'll get the uh, finishing wax on. Well, that's uh, a nice change. Uh, say it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I hope it's given uh, inspiration uh, to beginners uh, or anyone to uh, have a go and make something fit. Uh, let's just uh, pop the cushion on. No doubt Mrs. K will move it. It won't be in the right place. So yeah, I hope it's given inspiration to others to have a little go. Oh, you want to come in? Oh, yes, I think you'll have to keep off it, little lady. <laughs> Take care, my friends. Till next time. Ta-ra for now.